It's Rob! Tony! And I'm Jeff. We're in gaming, and that's you! Hello gamers and welcome back to the end. I'm Rob, or Warshack, whichever one you want to call me. I'm Tony, and I don't have a name. Just call me Tony. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're going to cover the top 10 worst legendaries in Hearthstone. We recently just did the top 10 best neutrals. We kind of left out the class specific ones, because most of the class specific legendaries are quite good. But in this case, since Tyrion's we're bad. Horrible. So, but since we're doing the um, the worst cards, we're not li really leaving it to neutral or class specific. We're just simply putting the worst legendaries, and um, we're going to start off with the Hemet Nessie. I don't even think I have this guy, to be I, honest. I go into crafting. There, oh, I there actually have this guy. So we have Hemet Nezingwary, and this guy says, this brilliant guy right here, this 5 6 three, so the stats are absolutely on point with this guy, and he says, Battle Cry, destroy a beast. A very specific type of creature that only really <laughs> druids and or will play. hunters. hunters uh, yeah, and hunters druids. will play, but yeah. maybe druid. Okay. So you got one and a half classes that will actually... Yeah, out of the be. nine classes, you've got two classes that will probably have, you, you know... Um, a beast for this guy to destroy. Um, it destroy. It says destroy a beast. So sometimes if you just can't get the value out of your opponent with using this guy, just kill your own beast. At yeah, least, exactly. Yeah, at least set his battle cry. Have it do something. You know, if you're gonna play the six. Yeah, play your Savannah High Main mm -hmm. and then coin on turn ten into this to kill your Savannah High Main to get the two twos. It's exactly. It's good stuff. It's brilliant. Okay, so um, as we've established, this guy is absolutely fucking horrible. Mm -hmm. And the only He's time he he, yeah, he, he does, looks like kind of a, a, a jerk. He he does look like a. a Nishi Mimi pants. Um, I okay. <laughs> so um, I, the only time I believe this guy was actually used against me is when the tavern brawl was um, web spinners. Yep. And yep. That yep. was actually really bad because that's he, the one situation, the yeah. single one. Yeah. So um, the single had, one, as opposed to the single two. I even complain. I'm like the only time this card gets ever used against me. It's in this match, and it was on my King Crush or something. It was horrible. It was really bad. And um, yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, oh, and these are these aren't in any particular order because they all are fucking horrible. Every single one of them has a special slot in like the worst category because in each situation one can out trump the other in worseness. But if we were to <laughs> rank them in tragically being just fucking horrible, this would be the list. That, you know, so it's not in an order, but it's actually in an order. So. Yeah. Um, the second one is uh, I like the golden millhouse mana storm I have. It's not even like the normal one. It has I got this out of a fucking pack and it's a golden eye, so I just can't eat it. Because it's just golden and he's horrible. Golden um, perk too. <laughs> yeah, he dies um, from a giant. Si uh, oh, the, 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 the cataclysm! He yeah, dies. It's, it's so close. fucking. So funny. this guy, he's a he's a two drop. So four four. His stats are, are good. Really good. Yeah. But his ability is what makes this guy just not good. He's good if he comes out of your shredder. So don't get me wrong. This guy, if he comes out of your pilot of shredder, congratulations. But you have in your hand and actually play, play. In turn two is any time. Not even turn two. Catastrophic. Imagine playing a mage. Catastrophic. Just a catastrophic. Catastrophic. Um, so this guy, he says battle cry enemy spells cost zero next turn. So essentially, um, just so you guys can get the gist of it, there's actually a video. Actually, I won't even mention the video. I'll just mention the effect. So you play this guy. You're going against, let's say, a mage. And um, every spell costs zero. So let's say his arcane intellect. He draws two for free. Then he plays fireball for free. He plays frostbolt for free. Every spell. If he has a pyroblast in his hand. Yeah. Ten damage. For free. Yeah, so no matter you can't what lose spell on like turn two. Yeah, so no matter what <laughs> spell he has, it costs none. And even if he draws into more spells for so the entire turn. So let's let's pretend they have an arc mage out. And as that card says, every time you cast a spell, generate a fireball. So this actually happened in a tournament where a guy played a spell, or he had arc mage, he played uh played arc mage, played a spell, and the spell was free, generated a fireball. That fireball's free. He fireballed, he generated another fireball, that fireball's free. So I mean and there's just so many situations. It was catastrophic. <laughs> it's In just... what way is this card ever useful? No. P this coming out of a shredder. The only a time, drop, yeah. he gets a, He's a 4-4. Four, four so there is literally out only of a four, one three. scenario in which this card will not screw you over. Yeah. Unless they at, play, are playing a creature only deck. Who's the yeah. douchebag who came up with this card? Um, I don't know, man. But uh, he's just it, bad. Artist is Jim Nelson. We'll blame Jim Nelson. Jim Nelson. <laughs> Jim Nelson, how could you? It, like, even the golden animation isn't even cool. Like, he's just like, oh, I'm gonna do fire stuff with my hands and then, and then purple stuff ethereal yeah jizz i'm just not feeling hand. it so fuck you millhouse man storm next is lore walker show. so the next one is lore walker show like Tony also mentioned. horrible to get out of a shredder um or it's actually so this one is a hit or miss because sometimes when he pops out of a shredder on your opponent's side of the field all of a sudden he becomes like the best legendary ever ever depending on your situation in your hand but most of the time, when this guy comes out, it's bad news bears for both players. He only he's only good in two two situations. Is that a pun? If you're running gimmick, 
um, gimmick decks. Gimmick decks, yeah. Or you're trying to set up a crazy play like we yeah. we've done. If you, we have an entire epic play series where we utilize yeah. this guy to copy spells to make crazy shit. Yeah. Happen. So what I believe one of those uh, videos we actually got we played a uh, we played warrior and we were seeing how high or how much armor we could accumulate in one match. So we're doing bouncing blades. Yeah. Yeah. So we actually accumulated. 34,000 armor something using like Lore Walker Cho. Something fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll actually put that. I'll put that in uh, annotation yeah, an annotation to the left that. there. We'll do 34,000 armor. That was a good video. That was fun That's times. Great um, so most of the time when this guy comes out, uh, we actually didn't even go over his stats. So he's a two drop, <laughs> zero four. Um, Can't even attack. He puts work on the field. <laughs> So, essentially, when this guy comes out, if your opponent doesn't want to kill him, he can't even kill himself, which makes it very difficult if you're trying to get I rid of this guy. I love his flavor text, though. I just realized his flavor text is a Friends reference. The show Friends. What, what is it? This one? Yeah, yeah, his flavor text. This Lore is... Walker Cho arrives and shares tales from the land of Pandoria, but his favorite story is the one where Joey and... Phoebe, Phoebe oh, going, Phoebe going yeah. on a road trip. I don't yeah. even know anything about this game, but that just makes me not like him right there. Yeah, I don't like him anyway. I, I makes me like him, like him a bit more. I'm marathon. Yeah. Fuck Joe. Okay, Skeleton Knight. Skeleton Knight. We don't actually have this guy, <laughs> um, and that should tell you something. If I don't own the legendary, I'm pretty sure you had him in eat him. I I I, I might have. I don't know. So um, basically, this guy's his stats are six drop seven four. Um, stats so we should bad. pretty much actually just look at this card here, and um, this is a better representation <laughs> of this card. It's a salty dog. Um, this guy actually, I believe he, he's one drop sooner. The, uh, the skeleton knight was six, um, so we'll pretend that he's salty dog. He has so synergy properties. He's a pirate. He can activate <laughs> pirate stuff. Um, so salty dog is a horrible, horrible card. The stats are horrible. The, the, it's just bad. For and one more mana, you could possibly get another horribly stat creature back to your hand. <laughs> so death rattle reveal a minion in each deck. If yours costs more, return this to your hand. Um, so this is like recycling trash. <laughs> Basically, this says recycle trash back to your hand. And, um... Like, at least Marlorn's stats are okay. Yeah, at least, I guess. I mean, still, for what is it? He's a 7-drop, which makes him one cost more than this. 7-drop, 9-7. Yeah, so he actually... He's got pretty decent stats. Yeah, but he puts it into your deck and not in your hand. But again, it's not a, um... Oh, seven, it's not four. a joust mechanic. Yeah. This is a joust and a death This is not even a guarantee you're going to get it back. Yeah. So no, and he can die to a four drop or yeah. three drop. So it's like semi recycling trash. Most of the time, you just want to get rid of him. Yep. Um, but in arena, maybe he'll be useful because they'll just can't get rid of him, and he'll get annoying, and maybe you keep maybe. putting the joust. That's the one situation I can think. But of yeah, he doesn't even have like a like a, a brand. Like he's not even like a skeleton or you know an, an undead. Undead. Yeah. So he can't even combo with maybe some stuff in future expansions that may benefit. You know, we could always go back and retroactively put him. Yeah, because we all know how often Hearthstone updates their shit. Dragons were added. No, I'm talking about... Oh, I thought you meant changing the, the text of this card to add skeleton or undead. Yeah, well, yeah. They, they did that with, we've like, been asking, dragon. We've and... been asking for deck slots, more than nine, <laughs> since the game was released. And uh, you think they're going to go back later. and change this recycled piece of garbage to something maybe good? No, they're not going to do that. So the next card, so um, man. we are number five, and it's going to be Flame Leviathan. Um, this card... <laughs> is that a train? It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, basically a big fire train. Yeah, it's like Thomas the Thomas the uh, or the tank wow. Engine. Yeah, Thomas the tank engine that just couldn't. The little um, train that could not. <laughs> yeah, he just could not. So this is a seven for seven seven. So the average stat, stats. So the stats are you know uh, of a war golem, which if you don't know what that is, it's this really good card right here. Um, it's fantastic in all his abilities. Do I not even have a war golem? Do you not even own a war golem? So, Craft. I did hate craft. I think we're getting off subject subject here. Anyway. Okay, but yeah. Um, so <laughs> War Golem is a 7 drop for 7-7 seven, seven vanilla card, no stats or anything. And it says when you draw this deal, 2 damage to all characters. Um, this that is, includes yourself yeah, in so, your field. So most of the time Wait, in... What? Yeah, exactly, Jeff. Uh, so most of the time in mage decks... Um, your, it's a very tempo-based deck. Uh, not so much late game unless you're running Freeze Mage. Then again, you're not fucking have... playing this. Two to four health. Yeah, two to four health. So you dealing damage to your own creatures is not really what you aim to do along with play a seven drop for seven seven. That's just, why would you not play Dr. Boom? Even though this guy does count it as a, a mech and there's some synergy there, is the synergy really worth almost killing your creatures? Like maybe, maybe in maybe a control deck? Sometimes, I mean... Like maybe in a control deck if you're facing a lot of aggro, turn 7 comes, you clear like 100 field. Like, maybe. I, <laughs> I guess, but it's just so situational. Like sometimes this card can That's be like amazing. That's like a super tech card. Yeah, it's just not... It's just bad. There's nothing good. So bad. I think it was played against me one time, and he, the two damage that he dealt actually killed himself. 
<laughs> so it's not, when you draw it too. So it's like it, it's not even when you play. If it was yeah. when you play, that's one thing because you, you play it situationally. It's yeah. when you draw. Uh, my next one is Moger the Ogre. This guy is just a confused, ugly bastard. Um, he oh god, he's a six drop seven six. Bastards, magi. They're they're the the. the the they're bad in Siamese here. twins. They're bad in Heroes of the Storm, so they have to be bad in this. We're gonna postpone this shutdown. Don't tell me what to do. Um, so he says all minions have a fifty percent chance to attack the wrong enemy. Uh, this just—it's just a bad time for everybody. Like if it said all of your opponents' minions, there you that go. Would be, if it said all okay. of your opponents, I would actually maybe consider this card being playable in some decks, sometimes on certain occasions, on certain days in the week, in a periodic time within that day. Um, but just. <laughs> um, but just looking at his stats, his, there were too many times in that yeah. situation. <laughs> uh, he's a uh, what is it called? Ogre Boulder Fist. The same stat, just Boulder swapped. Fist so uh, in this case, I would actually rather him have six attack and seven HP, because um, the difference between seven and six in uh, attack really doesn't matter, but it does matter in defense. Um, so with him, there, there's really not much to say. This is the Hearthstone equivalent of a flashbang grenade. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you guys didn't hear Jeff, he says this is the equivalent equivalent of a flashbang grenade. So it's kind of just like when you get, when this guy comes out, you're just kind of randomly shooting. Hopefully your minions land where they need to, and if they don't, like... If you're playing, like, an all-spell deck, and they have a bunch of minions, I mean, maybe? Because you can direct the spells. Yeah, they can't actually... But, it's, dude, it's just, just horrible deck ideas. Let's not do <laughs> Let's not. All right, so we have this guy right here, which, um... There he is. There he is. Uh, red and black hand. This guy looks serious. Um, he was kind of a serious deal in World of Warcraft, and then he comes to Hearthstone, and he's he's just That's sad horrible. and pitiful, and he makes me he makes me cry because he's a seven drop. So you're like, all right, seven drop. At least have at least have five HP, man. Just five. Sylvanas is a six drop. You know, has five HP. Um, some other cards like Ember Tharzan. Card. <laughs> yeah, Ember Tharzan, six H six mana drop has five HP. This guy has seven mana drop, so it's like, oh, more than five HP. Let's go with four HP. And it's like, okay, so it dies to a swipe. It dies to a frostbolt. Ping. It dies to a wraith and a passive. Um, not only that, you have to have a dragon in your hand, and they have to have a legendary minion on the field. So, face hunter, yeah. So, not only do its stats, no. I mean, the eight attack is nice, but it's never going to live long enough to attack. Yeah, if you're playing by turn seven, you, if you can't even destroy the creature, then. Yeah. Like, if you you're, playing, if no you're playing against an opponent who can't deal with a four HP creature, turn seven or beyond, Dude, then he deserves to be in your deck, because that's the skill-based player you're going <laughs> against. Um, but yeah, his stats just blow nuts, and then his ability is just too situational. On top of that, you have to have a dragon, so there's like... Only dragon decks can Yeah. Release. So there's like three situations that need to be met. There are actually four. It has to be turn seven. They has to have a dragon in your hand. They have to have a legendary down, and it has to almost live long enough uh, Why would you to... not just play Big Game Hunter? Exactly, and that costs Because four... you're probably just going to want to get rid of Dr. Boom, and so you just yeah. play Big Game Hunter. Yeah. So okay, bye. There's, just, <laughs> there's just so many bad things that revolve around that card that just makes him sad and unusual. All right, so we're going to Bull Frame Shield, and um, I have a feeling that this card may see play in future expansions or pack releases, um, but at this moment in time when this video is being made, this card is fucking horrible. Um, yeah. Maybe in a Taunt Warrior deck sometimes in the future, if that'll ever exist, or there'll be some combinations at which this card can be used again um if you're watching this at that time i was wrong but right now this card fucking sucks and uh he's a six drop three nine he says whenever your hero takes damage this minion takes damage instead so he's um, got the, at least he's got some health to go along with that ability yeah but... so this counts if you're a warlock and you take two damage from your passive he takes two damage if they attack directly with a creature he takes the damage instead but what makes him really bad is when they attack with the creature the three attack he has actually doesn't do a damn thing. So it's like if he's on the field and your opponent's uh, face, or he's on the field and your face is open for attack, and then your opponent attacks your face, he's gonna die instead. But what should happen is when your opponent attacks your face, the opponent's creature should actually take that three damage from his attack, which would actually make him playable and also make sense. Because why be would basically you basically like a taunt function? Yeah. Though. Why would you attack a creature when you can just attack their face, which you're going to do anyway to kill the creature? He literally, there's no. There's no purpose of him. He doesn't have taunt. He, they should have made him like a super taunt, because that's basically taunt. This is taunt, but there's no point to attack him, and you don't have to attack him. He's just going to die anyway. Yeah. So there's no point to this guy, and he looks vicious. Like it, it would but be. But he sucks. It would be. It would. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's bad. Just, it's just why, man. Why? Um, we're going to this guy. 
who uh, Norse Doom knows Dorm knows Dorm Dorm's do Dorm Wow do yeah dorm. those are words <laughs> All right so uh, he's Sounds. a nine drop eight eight so the stats are there so if you get this guy out of Confessor Dragon Bell, Synergy Yeah so if you get this guy out of uh, this I is our I wouldn't even say Dragon section. No this is still this pretty fucking bad I mean they still made it into the worst but it's getting to the point where they're less bad. These are the fucking more top worst legendaries, Tony. <laughs> These are bad cards. Do not think that this is a good card. It actually was a fun card. You can say it's fun. These it, cards. It, it was a fun card. These cards know. can be fun. And they can be played. And you, they could potentially win you the game sometimes again on specific dates <laughs> during a specific time frame. In a specific universe. Yeah. <laughs> millennia. Um, so this guy is a 9-drop 8-8. Eight, eight. Um, he is a dragon. So at least he has like a fucking label on like Skeletal Knight, which is actually a salty dog. Um, and this is players have 15 seconds to take their turn. So this card at one point in time was kind of fun to use because you could skip over your opponent's turn, which I will put, throw that video link in the description below where we yeah, actually... Storm who steals your turn. Yeah, so I actually was playing a power deck and we skipped the entire enemy turn by taking it all up with joust mechanics they fixed this so he's no longer fun anymore he's just bad um i mean it causes like if you're playing a control deck or something i would say at maybe, maybe one point in time grim patron you could play him against right the grim because patron. you can sit there and calculate you know you have 15 seconds to discern your whole move so combo yeah. decks it puts them in a pinch you ever seen dragon tails but he's just bad dragon tails yes i remember the yellow one yeah that's what he looks like. A little bit. I'll right. have to Rob throw a picture of him in there for comparison. Well, I don't Spanish. think we can throw a picture of him in comparison, but I'll try. I'll try to remember that. Um, but okay. if I don't, then you guys can research it. I have to know. It. Anyway, um, so this guy is pretty much bad. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that we should say. It comes out of He has over five health. Yes, he does have over five health. You Good hope for you. so for nine drops. Yeah. Me. Anyway. Um, and then also there was one more thing. Oh, yes. I it, like it, how the name of the flavor text is time to write some flavor text because he didn't have time to write it because of the 15 seconds. Oh, my I'm God. I'm not even going to say what I was so going to say about that card. Flavor. All right. And then we're going to go to Acid Mall. Again, this card could be useful in some situations because on turn 10, you could Acid Mall, unleash the hounds, and then destroy your whole entire opponent's field. But if you're playing a hunter and you're lining up a turn 10 play with, with a card. A seven drop four two. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... Come on, man. Just don't do that. Um, or, or Acid... You could say Acid Maw and then that one card that deals one damage at the end of the turn, that three drop, to, to kill that and the whole side, other, every other card. You know Let's just not. So anyway, he's fucking horrible. Seven drop, four two. Stats are bad. It says whenever another minion takes damage, destroy it. Its its effect is cool. Don't get me wrong. It's a decent effect. Like, if it comes out of, like, your web spinner or, or, or a ram wrangler, a ram wrangler, just stuff like that in certain situations, it could, again, be used. But to put this card actually, like, in your deck to play it competitively, it's kind of just like shooting yourself in the fucking foot with a shotgun and saying, let's go run a race, Tony. We're going to do just fine because that's just what I'm going to do. So don't play this card. It's bad. All right. And then I believe that pretty much wraps up our yeah, top 10. Thing. Um, if you've got any crust questions, recommendations, crust, if you have any pizza crust, <laughs> we'll, we'll take it. Um, no, but if you have any cards that we might have missed or didn't go over that you think are really bad, um, that or if you can think of any situation to justify these cards aside from what we've said, oh, we we're gonna get some it. conflict in the bottom. We're gonna see that one guy in that one situation. This card is good, and again, it's going to be in that specific situation which we've mentioned before. So again, these cards are bad, but in some situations they can be good and so, fun. And fun. They're mostly just fun. Yeah. So, like, again, these are the... I'm not even going to go over it. I've already explained it. Yeah. All right. So, with all of this said, thank you guys for stopping by the end. Hopefully, you've enjoyed our top 10 worst legendary cards um, brought on to you by our top... Our, the best legendary cards. If you have any suggestions of, again, future videos that are fun like these for us to do, we really enjoy doing these videos, and we enjoy making them for you, of course. Um, so, with that said, comment section below. As always, I'm Warshak. I'm Tony. And I'm off screen. And Jeff is here, but you just can't see him. So, in, in his heart, he says goodbye. And... Uh, as always, happy whatever the hell day it is. Bye. I almost said Borshak again. <laughs> <laughs>